we start? We'll give you two minutes to get serious. Well, hello. 
if y'all can see me without this light bright in my face. Welcome to the theater at Norco College. If you've never been here before, this is the theater at Norco College. And I'm Megan Ox, and this is doctoral recital number two for me. Um, if you were not able to make it to my last one, it was also a lot of fun, but I will be perfectly honest. I am insanely excited for the music I'm going to be presenting to you tonight. You may not recognize necessarily the pieces or even the composers that I'm going to be playing for you this evening. And I think that's a bit of a shame. And I'm going to tell you just a brief moment why I promise I'm not going to talk a whole lot this evening. Um, I think that it's best said to just Google these composers, read a little bit about their backstories because they're fascinating. But most importantly, I think out of anything I could say is American music is what these women made. I wanted to think about that for a second because you're gonna be like, well, what, what do I mean by American music? Am I talking jazz? Am I talking rock and roll, gospel, blues, classical, avant-garde? What am I talking about? And what I'm talking about is the idea of the melting pot, the idea of taking different traditions and putting them together. Yes, we've had avant-garde composers, of course. We've had very things that we consider standard now. We have Sousa, we have Copeland, we have the folk sound. But what happens when you have someone who has been maybe classically trained, gone to conservatory, done multiple degrees in music and in composition, who composes in Western classical art forms, who can orchestrate for radios, who can orchestrate for film, who can play organ for film back in the day. What happens when you take all of that background and add things like being a choral accompanist for black gospel choirs, for church music, for art song, and you have a melting pot. And so I, I really hope that you hear that in these pieces this evening. Um, I'm going to take only a brief pause between each. So if you need to grab a snack or grab a drink or some dinner or something like that, be quick about it. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. 
before I conclude the last piece, I'd like to just make a note um, that this last piece here, Troubled Water by Margaret Bonds, is an arrangement of another tune that hopefully you'll recognize. Uh, it's a very, very old spiritual, potentially dating all the way back to Harriet Tubman and the Underground Railroad, but first originally performed by the Fisk Jubilee Singers, at least that we have record of. So please enjoy Troubled Water.
you all so much for joining me. Um, I'll be around to answer any questions or just generally chat with you in the comment section in a little bit. Um, so hang tight. Thank you so much for joining me this evening, and I hope you enjoyed some new music tonight. Bye, everyone.